What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com. Today we're going to show you a closer and on feet look at the Air Jordan 4 Pure Money. So they're set to drop on May 13th. Retail will be $190 and you can grab them at Chic Shoes Retailers. Link in the description below. To run down the history of the Pure Money Air Jordan 4, um, well not particularly this pair because there's been a few variations. So first we had what was being called White Chrome that dropped in 2000. And instead of mesh, which you see right here and here, it featured perforated leather. And those retailed for $100. Now, to my knowledge, I don't believe Pure Money was on the inside of the heel tab. But if I'm wrong, please leave a comment below. Now, moving forward is the actual first release of the Air Jordan 4 Pure Money, which dropped back in 2006. Retail was $115. And then in 2010, Jordan Brand was celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Air Jordan line and they released select models which came in a pure money like theme but they were calling it 25th anniversary or the silver collection now even though a bunch of them were displayed in all white a handful did release one of them being the air jordan 4 pure money but like i said silver anniversary edition but they did feature pure money on the inside of the heel tab now i know previously i said i wasn't feeling these because it's just too much white going on but that has changed since I've had them in hand. Um, I am 100% happy with these. I totally changed my opinion on them. I think they're really dope in person and they're an incredible shoe and as well as the material use. So we have a tumbled like leather that covers most of the base and across the panels as well and slightly tumbled and it's very plush. I'm actually quite surprised. So maybe we'll see the Motorsport alternate or the alternate Motorsport release kind of like this form as well, maybe going forward. Um, but as you can see, just an all white build. Uh, just in person, what you're going to notice is these pod overlays though and around the midsole area. Again, that is painted on and it's more of an off-white as well as the, the netting. So almost all white but there's a few variations which doesn't look bad at all it's just well executed so on these like wing eyelets that connects into the eyelets which we'll get to in a bit that is also leather as well around the collar as well as the back heel and the tongue is a synthetic uh, leather and it's slightly textured as you could see so that's the only thing but um that's not even bad the whole shoe is executed nicely so we got chrome on the Jumpman branding on the hill, all white. Bring it to the medial side. Once again, all white. You got your plush, genuine leather used, um, off white on the netting, and these eyelets up top are chrome, and they are plastic. Um, it is a possibility they could chip or even break off, so. Just want to give you a heads up on that. And since they're an all-white shoe, in time, they will yellow. Especially the netting. Although the netting is a little bit off-white. I don't know. Maybe things have changed. I know the previous pair that released was um, they started to yellow. But same setup on the toe, which we've already showed you. I'll bring it a little bit closer just to check that out. The tongue... We got mesh on the lower part, one set of laces done in all white. Also for the lace tips, we got pretty much gray used. I mean, it could be considered, I guess, a silver shade, but that's done in plastic. As you can see, nothing special on them. And then the Jumpman branding on the tongue that overlays. It's, it's done in white, but the branding itself almost looks like a pure platinum. Now I'll bring you to the liner, and that also is done in pure platinum as well. I'm going to pull out the insole in a second. I totally forgot to, so I'm going to have to cut this. But we have Air Jordan flipped upside down on the inside of the tongue. There we go. So here is the insole, all white. The Jumpman is done in a silver shade, um, as you can see. Now to the sole, which is done in all white, furthering the theme. But the Jumpman... Um, I believe that's pure platinum, so it's kind of white, but it's more of an off-white. Hopefully that picks up, and obviously that stands out a bit. Aside from them being all white with chrome hits, 
probably the next thing it's known for, maybe even the number one, who knows, um, is on the inside of each of the hill tabs, it says pure and then the money sign. There goes the first one. Here goes the second. So something a little bit different. Um, well, I mean different as far as what's usually released from Jordan brand, but that was seen on the 2006 release, and I do believe the 2010 silver anniversary as well. So let's go over these one more time before we jump to the on feet. Um, man, I'm happy with them, honestly. Um, yeah, I mean, if it was up to me, I would do only one thing different. That would be the midsole. But, um, you know, other than that, I mean, I can't be 100% picky on things. And I, you know, even though I try to critique things, they got some nice leather use. So in that respect, I'm happy with that. But these should be an easy pickup once they do drop. And I'll get more into that in the outro. And when I say easy, doesn't mean that they're not dope. It's just... Yeah, we know the drill, but let's jump to the on feet. Alright everybody, so that was your closer and on feet look at the Air Jordan 4 Pure Money. They are set to drop May 13th. Retail will be 190 in new Grab Met Chic Shoes retailers. Link in the description below. So just to recap what I said about the materials, uh, they're dope. Um, this leather that they use is really nice. It's actually really plush and tumbled, like I said earlier. And I'm sure that a lot of people will enjoy that. Um... The synthetic leather doesn't really bother me at all because it's, it's minimal and it's, you know, in certain locations. But the overall look, you know, it just it just goes nicely together. Now, as for the craftsmanship, remember, guys, this is a GR. So not saying that it's OK, but I'm saying that since there's so many pairs releasing, they are going to vary. Um, the one thing I don't like and what won't vary and what will be on is you'll see this off white. And that is like painted on. So you can see the actual streaks used, which, um, you know, it is what it is. I got to let some things go. Also, you're going to notice some glue stains here and there in dings. Um, again, I think the materials kind of outweigh it. Um, it. To me, I guess it was a pleasant surprise opening these up. I was just kind of like, whoa, okay, this is something different. I mean, we haven't seen something like this in a while. So that's pretty dope to me. Um, but... If you're able to, like I always say, you know, check out your pairs in person and uh, you should be good to go. Now, like I said, this is a GR, but it's a massive GR. So what that means is they're not going to sell out first day. Um, although they're dope, although I like them, it's just not going to happen. Um, there are some people that do want them, though. Like, there's quite a bit, but I just feel this is another pair from Jordan Brand that will eventually be available below retail you'll just have to give it some time if you just if you're patient um other than that um things to watch out for um obviously they're going to get dirty really fast but um if you take care of them of course then that won't be an issue and the yellowing because it's an all-white shoe i really think the first to start to yellow will be the netting um and then moving forward uh, you know just parts of maybe the midsole area but who knows? Maybe Jordan Brand used something different this time around. Although I do think these are dope, I'm not going to pick them up on release date because I'm going to wait until they go on sale. There's no reason for me to spend extra money when I could save it and get these on sale. And by the time they do go on sale, they'll probably be the warmest part of 
uh, this summer. And just to let you guys know, if you really do want them, don't wait till they go on sale because I'm not 100% sure on everything. This is Some of it is speculation and it's about being around um, sneakers and seeing stuff released for so many years that it's just um, a prediction. So don't use what I say and run with it. Um, and then if they do sell out, you know, you're blaming me. I'm just giving you what I believe and going forward. Um, if you want them bad enough, I would say just get them on release date. But if you're patient, you know, I just believe that they'll go on sale, but leave a comment below and let me know if you plan on picking them up, passing or waiting until they go on sale. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.